Southeast Louisiana stayed in their homes to ride out the storm. We've learned about 140 crew members on board the Noble Globetrotter 2 drill ship that rode out Ida in the Gulf. According to a spokesperson for Noble, the ship encountered hurricane force conditions but remained stable throughout the storm. Those crew members are now in the process of being evacuated by the Coast Guard. Our Katie Easter spoke with the Coast Guard about what's next. Katie. This video was sent to us by a friend of a crew member showing the 150 mile per hour winds. The U.S. Coast Guard and a spokesman for Noble confirmed the drill ship was offshore as Hurricane Ida made its way to the coast. According to the statement from Noble, the ship has full power and the safety systems are functional. Uh, the master of the vessel has told the Coast Guard that the vessel was not in distress, but the information released reportedly from the crew, uh, reportedly from the crew, the crew of the Globetrotter 2, uh, indicates potential issues with safety. This video shared by a crew member to social media shows water rising, but the captain told the U.S. Coast Guard there's no water coming into the ship. Um, that's why we have uh, inspectors uh, heading over there to assess uh, any, any reports of damages or anything like that. The U.S. Coast Guard sent a boat out to the drill ship Wednesday afternoon. According to a press release, the ship will be brought back to the port for repairs. Members will evacuate. At this time, everyone is safe. Of Coast Guard's District 8 Offshore Continental Shelf Division have been in contact with both the ship's master and noble corporation since Monday to determine the extent of any damage and to ensure that the crew's life-saving equipment is functional. Katie Easter, KGC, TV3. Okay.